My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop. And we all know that I love to take the piss out of people. And um, it's actually a growing trend, which is awesome. <laughs> actually, it's not because they're uh, encroaching on my domain. But I'm all up for taking the piss out of people and so on. Especially when it's a bit of friendly fucking around. Now, there are some complete fucking assholes out there. Um, and there are some complete assholes making YouTube videos. Fucking, I'm one of them. But I did... Uh, someone sent me a video about the auto expert, this John guy. Internal combustion, one of the most commonly misunderstood processes there is. The YouTube troll dickhead, one of the lowest classes of human existence there is. Now, I'm just going to say, I, I can't stand him. I say I can't stand him, I just don't like it. I don't like it because it's scripted. When things are scripted... To me, humour is a natural thing. And yes, when you watch comedies and stuff, that is scripted. You know, when Frankie Boyle gets on stage, that's scripted. But his delivery of that is not scripted. And um, not only that, is when he first kept, when, when these comedians first write these jokes, it is piss-worthy enough. You know, it is probably off the top of the head. You know what I mean? They may change one or two words or phrases because it flows better. But it is their natural ability to do that. What I don't particularly like is when someone scripts a rant about something and you can just... It's far too eloquent. No one talks like that. No, one, no one's that witty and that fast. Uh, apart from, you know, some of these comedians and stuff. And... I've seen a couple of his videos and it's just not my taste. So I'm not going to kick him in the... It's my opinion. I'm not going to kick him in the tits over that. I'm, it's not my style. And there's a lot of people... Well, there's people who watch my videos. He's a knob. Matt's a knob. Not my style. Fine. Totally fine with that. But then he does this video and I forgot what it's called. It's How an Engine Works. IQ Test. So basically what this guy does, it's a bit like my comment corner, which another one's coming soon. And he basically... Um, has written a script in response to people's comments. And I thought I'd give it a little look. Someone sent me it. I watched, I don't know, a minute of it. And I was like, ah, oh, fucking this guy's getting over tits. And I was about to move on. And then when I scanned across it, I could see that there's these sections where he's basically, you know, he pastes the comments like I do. He pastes the comment. I thought, oh, I'll, have, I'll just go flick through the video because you can get the preview along the bottom. Flick through the video and just see what some of these questions were. And the weirdest one is he gets onto one. <laughs> this is just fucking brilliant. He gets onto one, which is a guy talking about idle fuel usage. And um, he even mentions Jason from Engineering Explained, which I've taken the piss out of and we've debated some of the stuff that he says and blah, blah, blah. Engineering Explained has a video showing the amount of fuel burned idling versus being restarted. On his vehicle, I think it takes just seven seconds to burn the amount of fuel used in a restart. So I find your claim that you can idle your vehicle all day for less than the cost of a burger and fries. Total bunk. And that twigged my interest. Then this John Bloke comes out with this really scripted, witty reply. In which a video about people's stupid comments, he calls this guy a basically a fuckwit or a fucking idiot or whatever. Right? Oh my god, if you are going to do that, get it fucking right. <laughs> because I'm sorry, John, but you're the fucking idiot in all of this. And it's, it's, it's at the most basic level. That's what's beautiful about it. This guy makes a comment which really isn't that stupid, right? And I'm not going to start digging into numbers and stuff like that. But basically... This John says in a video that if he left his car idling for an hour, for 10 hours, he comes out with this thought experiment. I'll play that bit. Dear dipshit, think what you like. I care not as the facts remain the facts regardless. A modern two litre engine consumes about 600 millilitres of petrol per hour idling. 
Here's a thought experiment. Let us park and leave it running and put in a rock-solid ten-hour day for the boss and then return to the car, which will have burned six litres of fuel times a buck fifty a litre equals... Nine bucks? Just for shits and giggles, let us call it ten. Grilled, a popular burger chain here in Shitsville, 125 locations, arse trailer wide, lists a range of dead animal on a bun with various condiments, etc. in its menu. Uh, starting with the so-called simply grilled poverty pack burger for ten bucks fifty to the sixteen dollar nourish and flourish burger. Obviously, that's not pertaining to the cow. Nourishing and flourishing. I'm pretty sure they just fired a steel bolt into its brain and then pureed it. So there's that. Therefore, however, on the basis of economic fundamentals alone, I move for a mistrial, Your Worship, on the grounds that you can idle all day for the cost of a burger, and I don't even know if the fries are extra at grilled. And just so you know, I've instructed my solicitor to file a civil counterclaim that you are a brain-dead asshole in the first degree, Chris. And then he says, the average, the average two-litre car consumes 1.6 litres, 1.6 litres of fuel at idle. Um, yeah, at idle. There we go. Right. So... Dude, I was like, that's wrong. Because, I've, weirdly enough, I've been doing um, in the background some videos about how much, which is weirdly enough about a Jason video, about how much fuel engines actually use and so on and so on. And I was like, the way he said it, and because it's all scripted, I was like, the average, where's he got that from? So I looked it up. And lo and behold, I typed in two litre idle fuel usage. Went bang. And then it came up with exactly what he read out. Exactly what he read out. I was like, wow, that's quite amazing. You know, uh, he says 600 milliliters, not 0.6 liters. Right, fine. John, mate, you call the guy a fucking idiot. You're the fucking idiot. Because if you actually read it, instead of skim reading it, it says 0.6 liters of fuel at idle in one hour Right, which is what he says. There doesn't seem to be any problem there. Consumes about 600 millilitres of petrol per hour, idling. But it does say per litre. As in a 1,000cc engine. You specifically say a 2-litre engine. A modern 2-litre engine consumes about 600 millilitres of petrol per hour, idling. Well, that would be 1.2 litres, fuck not. You can't even read. <laughs> oh, yes. There's nothing better than calling someone out and saying they're a fucking dickhead and going to some length to call them a fucking dickhead when you can't read. When you can't read the source that you had to go and find out. You didn't do any calculations. You just ran out there, quickly typed it, all full of yourself, read that, missed the important bit, and then you've just gone and made a complete fuck up because you are literally yeah, that's half. You you know it's one point two for the average. I then found a video for a guy who's got a Xterra Xterra is it X T E double R A X Xterra Xterra a Nissan. This bloke's got a video. I'll put a clip of that up. Showing the vehicle uh, burning around one point one to one point five liter per hour. And the RPM is running at 650 RPM. I will take the vehicle to the freeway and run at 100 kilometer per hour. That is equivalent to 65 mile per hour. And that's a 1.4, 2.4 liter, I think. I, I don't know, 2.4, 2.6, something like that. That engine, he's got basically a gauge that is reading the fuel flow from the pump. And that says, that it's chewing 1.5 litres per hour. So, you can see there, there's a guy who's done a test, even if it's a 3 litre, 
you can see that you're miles out with this 1.6 litres. And then he goes on about burgers and fries, and there's some massive story about whatever vegan burgers they're having, or whatever, that, all that bullshit. All this embellishment. And then you base all of your calculations saying it'd cost $10, where it'd actually be 20 and now you can't afford your burger. You know what I mean? Or you need more money to buy whatever. It's not... It's just the whole point. Fuck the burgers, fuck all the rest of it. What makes me laugh is that someone has published a video, an entire video. It's not... I've gone in there and nicked a bit out. Well, it, is, it is a bit. But that video is about calling people fucking idiots from stupid comments. And then you go and make a very, very simple mistake by not reading this bit. So we know where you got your source from. Check your fucking numbers all the time. If you are going to do a video and say something, you know, and we all make fuck ups and stuff. The fact of the matter is, is you're really smug and embellish and go on to call someone a fucking idiot. Well, I'm calling you a fucking idiot because you can't read. Yeah, I don't know what you've been fucking smoking or smelling. But, yeah, if you're going to do research and stuff, make sure you fully understand it before you make someone look like a prick, because you've just made yourself look like a prick. <laughs> it's golden. Now, hopefully John, you know, hopefully this John guy sees what it is and goes, yeah, all right, you know, I'm fucked up and all the rest of it. And But it would be nice, would be nice, forget mentioning my video, it would be nice if you went back and made a bit of an apology to that bloke because you have called him a fucking dickhead. Now, his comment, I really didn't pay attention to his comment because what it said in it didn't have any numbers or something like that. Um, but the bloke does say, you said this and you'd be able to buy a burger. Well, actually, the guy's right. You wouldn't be able to, or, or it's a fucking expensive burger, and it's definitely not the example that you gave. Oh, hope that makes sense. <laughs> hope he has a laugh out of that. <laughs> fucking I did. And I'll see you in a bit. I've instructed my solicitor to file a civil counterclaim that you are a brain-dead asshole in the first degree, Chris. Dripping. Every time. Every time.